So what would you say if I told you that an upright walking creature, half man, half wolf, might exist? I'm sure you'd probably laugh at such an idea, right? But it would appear that people have been reporting such a creature for thousands of years. So I'm going to ask you to keep an open mind as we explore the history of werewolves. In folklore, a werewolf is a human with the ability to shapeshift into a wolf or human wolf-like creature. This usually comes about from a curse, or being scratched or bitten by another werewolf, with the transformation occurring during the night of a full moon. Just like the witchcraft trials in Middle Ages, werewolf trials emerged in Europe in the 15th century, where they continued till around the 18th century. A rather gruesome case of someone accused of being a werewolf was recorded back in 1589. Peter Stump was a farmer accused of werewolfery, witchcraft and cannibalism. He was known as the werewolf of Bedburg. Whilst being stretched on the rack, he confessed to practicing black magic and claimed the devil had given him a magic belt which enabled him to transform to a greedy, devouring wolf. Strong and mighty, with eyes great and large, a mouth great and wide, with most sharp and cruel teeth, a huge body, and mighty paws. Removing the belt made him transform back into his human form, although no such belt was ever found. It was said that for 25 years, Stump had been an insatiable bloodsucker who gorged on the flesh of goats, lambs, sheep, as well as men, women, and children. After being threatened with torture, he confessed to killing and eating 14 children, two pregnant women, including their fetuses, and one of the children he ate was his own son. His execution on the 31st of October 1589 is one of the most brutal on record. He was put to a will where flesh was torn from his body in ten places with red hot pincers, followed by his arms and legs. Then his limbs were broken with the blunt side of an axe to prevent him from returning from the grave, before he was beheaded and his body burned on a pyre. As a warning against similar behaviour, local authorities erected a pole with the torture wheel and the figure of a wolf on it and at the very top placed Peter Stump's severed head. The word werewolf comes from the Old English word werewolf, a compound of were, man, and wolf, wolf. The term lycanthropy referring both to the ability to transform into a wolf and the act of doing so comes from ancient Greek. The history of men turning into wolves goes back centuries, in the 2nd century BC, there is the story of King Lycaon, who was transformed into a wolf by the god Zeus, as he sacrificed a child in his altar and tried to serve him as food to Zeus. The werewolf folklore found in Europe goes back to common development during the Middle Ages, arising in the context of Christianization and the associated interpretation of pre-Christian mythology where lycanthropy is reconstructed as an aspect of the initiation of the warrior class. Although throughout history the werewolf is known as a ravenous, bloodthirsty creature, there is one exception, the wolver. The wolver is a wolf-like humanoid creature in the folklore of the Shetland Islands of Scotland. The wolver is said to be benevolent and would often leave fish on the windowsills of poorer families and help lost travellers by guiding them to nearby towns. They are usually described as furry people with a wolf's head and would only become violent if provoked. There are many different werewolf tales from other countries and eras. King Lycan of Greece, Wepwawet from late Egyptian culture, not to be mistaken with Anubis, the Lobe Zone from South America, the Nahuel from Mexico, all the way up to modern day with the likes of the Michigan Dogman and the Beast of Bray Road from America, all the way to the Beast of Barnstrom Drain in the UK. A more modern word nowadays used to describe this creature is Dogman, and more people believe it is a creature in its natural form rather than the person that turns into this creature 
although some still claim to have witnessed a human transforming into a werewolf. Various types of dogmen are reported, from the canine type that has the canine style dog's legs rather than human type legs, to one that more resembles a Bigfoot with a muzzle rather than a flat face. Most are described as very muscular and agile, and heights range from 6 foot all the way up to 13 foot. Some believe it to be supernatural because of its ability to get into people's minds, vanish without a trace, and withstand gunshots that would take down a large animal. Whatever you believe, the werewolf phenomenon goes back many centuries and is still very much persistent to this day. So the next time you find yourself out in the wilderness during a full moon, just be aware of what else may be lurking in the shadows. <laughs>